Hello, this is functions lesson five. In this, I will discuss inverse, composite, even and odd functions. Now, this uh, this kind of functions are very easy, only based on common sense. So, for this lesson, there is no concepts, only a pure common sense, and then a bit of few concepts. Now, question says that f x is equals to two x minus five, g x is equals to x square minus four. Now, f x and g x, as you can see, are the function on x. What is this f o g x? Can I say this is function on g x? And what is this g o f x? This is function g on f x. That is the meaning of f o g x or g o f x. And this is called as this and this. This is called as composite function. Composite function means two functions are operated simultaneously f as well as g. So you can say that this is a composite function. Now how to find it? It's very easy. Uh, you know that f of x is how much, and then you can always calculate f of g x. I know that f of x is equals to two x minus five. Now very special about function is that if I need to calculate f of y, what I have to do? I have to just replace x by y. So what I will get two y minus z. What I if I need to calculate f of Uh, z, so it is two y minus five. It would be two y minus five. You only have to replace x with y. When f of x is two x minus five, f of y will be two f two y minus five. What will f of z? F of z would be two z minus five because f of x means uh, it's a function of x. F of z means it's a function of z. You only have to replace x with z. So same way, same way. If I need to calculate f of g x. I know that f of x is equals to two x minus five. Now f of g x. So what I will do? I will replace x with g x. So can I say this will be two of g x minus five? I have just replaced x with g x. Now you know the value of g x. This is called as f of g x. Put the value of g x. G x was x square minus four. So I'm putting twice of X square minus four minus five. That will be my answer. Can I say this will be two x square minus eight minus five minus thirteen? That will be my final answer. Same way I can calculate g o f x. This will be the function g o f x. Now first you should know that what is g x. G x was our x square minus four. Our f x was two x minus five. That was our f x. Now, if I need to calculate g of f x, I know that g x is equals to x square minus four. What will be g of f x? Replace x with f x. So this is f x whole square function of x minus four. What is the value of f x? F x is two x minus five. So this is two x minus five whole square minus four. Solve this, and you will get your final answer. Or it, this is only your final answer. so that is how we cal can calculate the composite function very easy only based on common sense now question 2 is fx is equals to 1 minus x divided by 1 plus x x is not equals to 1 minus 1 why because uh, x will be minus 1 this will be uh, denominator will be zero and function will be infinite which is not possible now we need to find f of fx now simply it means that This is function of f x. F of f x stands for function of f x. The function of f x. That is what we need to find. Uh, we know f x is how much. We know. I'm just calculating here. F of x is. I know that this is one minus x upon one plus x. When I need to calculate f of f x, what I will do? What is the difference? I will just replace x with f x on both side. So one minus f x. Oh, one plus f x. That is what I do. Now you know the value of f x. This is one minus x upon one plus x divided by one one plus one minus x upon one plus x. Now can you solve this? Now one plus x will be the denominator in both the cases. You will get one plus x minus one minus x divided by one plus x plus one minus x and divided by one plus x. Now this and this will be get cancel out because we know that x is not equals to minus one. You can cancel this, 
and now what do you do? You will left with I am solving here. One plus x minus one minus x. So you have two x upon two. Uh, your final answer will be two. So f of f x. Uh, your final answer will be equals to two. And that's how you need to solve all these kind of questions. Now next concept is very easy. Inverse function. For example, if I say f x is equals to some function. Let's say this is equals to y. F x is equals to y. What will be x? X can be said as f inverse y. X, the value of x will be equals to f inverse y. For example, uh, if I need to find the question would be like this: find the inverse inverse of function f x is equals to. I need to find the inverse of function f x is equals to five x plus four. I need to find the inverse of this function. So what I will do? Every time you have to assume this is equals to y is equals to f five x plus four. Now calculate x in terms of y. Can I say y minus four is equals to five x? What is x? X is equals to y minus four upon five. That is the value of x. Now I know that x is what f x is equals to y. Then you can say that x is equals to f inverse y. Now can I say this is x is equals to f inverse y? So simply you can just write down here function f inverse y would be y minus four by five. Now you want to convert in f x final answer will be always be the x. So this is equals to x minus four by five. That will be final answer. F inverse x would be x minus four by five. Now every time what you have to do, you have to function will be given. You have to assume this is equals to y. Calculate x in terms of y and then replace y with x. And this is your inverse function. This is your inverse function. Now question says that f x is equals to two x minus three. G x is equals to x square plus five. Now you should first try to solve this question yourself. Then look at the way I have solved. First I will find f o g x. It will be function on g x. Now I know that f x is equals to two x minus three. Now if I need to calculate f of g x, now what I will do? I will replace x with g x in the left hand side as well as right hand side. So this will become I will replace x with g x. So this will be twice of g x minus three. So I will replace x with g x so how to find this is f of g x twice of g x minus 3 i'm just calculating twice of g x is x square plus 5 my minus 3 so you will get 2 x square plus 10 minus 3 plus 7 so your f of g x is 2 x square plus 7 this is f of g x Now you need to find the f of g o g x inverse seven. Now I will find the inverse of this function. I will find first f of g inverse x, and then I will put the value of x as seven. Now how to find the inverse? Very simple. Uh, you assume that y is equals to f of g x is equals to two x square plus seven. Now what will be the x? In the if you see this x will be equals to f o g inverse y that will be the value of x. Find the value of x. You know that I am solving here y is equals to two x square plus seven. So y minus seven is equals to two x square. X square would be y minus seven by two, and x would be y minus seven by two square root. And that is the value of x. I know that x is equals to f o g inverse y. Put the value of x. This is the value of x. This is f o g inverse y. And that your final inverse function. Now what we need to calculate? We need to calculate f o g inverse seven. Put the value of y as seven. So seven minus seven by two. This will be equals to zero. So answer is zero. So in this way you can always calculate composite function, inverse function in a simplest manner. 
Next is very important even and odd function. Now this topics I will discuss in detail in graphical terms when I will do the chapter graph. But in functions you can only uh, I will only give you a definition of even and odd function. In graphs I will discuss them in detail and what kind of graphs are there for even as well as odd function. Here I will just discuss the basics uh, theoretical terms what are even and odd function. If fx is a function let's say for example any function is there now function fx will be a even will be a even function if f of minus x if you put x as if you change the input to minus x rather than x this must be equals to fx it means for both input f of x both inputs x and minus x the function value will be same that will be even function this fx will be a odd function if f of minus x will be equals to minus of fx. It means that output will change in the change of input. Even function you can say that when f of minus x is equals to fx, it means that for both x and minus x output is same. That is the meaning, other meaning of even function. If you put x or you put minus x, the output will be same. Whereas in odd function, f of minus x is always equal to minus of fx. It means that for x and x minus x, outputs are different. That is the meaning of odd functions. Now, for example, what y is equal to, let's say fx is equal to x square. Now I'm assuming that function of x is equal to fx square. Now is this an even function or odd function? Calculate f of minus x. Now f of minus x means that put x is equal to minus x. So minus x whole square. Again this will be equal to x square. Again this will be equal to know that fx. So can I say f of minus x is equal to fx? This is a even function. So f of fx is equal x square is a even function. It means uh, you can see that f of minus x is equal to fx. And what will be odd function? If I say that y is equal to fx, I am assuming this is equal to x. Now f of minus x, put x is equal to minus x. This will be minus x, this is minus of fx because x is equal to fx, I am putting. So you can see that f of minus x is equal to minus of fx, this is a odd function. So in this way you can define even and odd function. Very simply you can say that if f of minus x is equal to fx, this is even function. f of minus x is minus of fx, that will be a odd function. Few examples that will make the concept even better clear too. Now next question is, question is fx is equal to log of x plus square root of x square minus 1. You need to tell whether this function is odd or this function is even. Now what is this function? Try to solve yourself then look at the way I have solved. Now what I will do to calculate even or odd, I will put x is equal to minus x. So what I will get? This is equal to log of minus x minus x whole square. I just replace x with minus x. So I am getting f of minus x is equal to log of minus x plus x square plus 1 whole square will be as it is. Now I can write like this, this is equal to x square plus 1 uh, minus x. Same thing. This is equal to f of minus x. Now what you can do is very difficult to judge whether it's even or odd. Uh, what can we can do this is log of. This step is very bit uh, critical one, very difficult to judge. But still uh, by practice you can learn. I will multiply this and divide this by same number. No difference will be there. What is the benefit? Uh, you will get this is a minus b. This is a plus b. We know that a plus b into a minus b. This is a square minus b square. So denominator would be uh, x plus x square plus 1. This is denominator. And numerator will be a square. That is x square plus 1. Square root will be removed. Minus x square. 
can i say this will be equals to now you, you are close to getting your this is equals to log of 1 upon x plus x square plus 1 whole square root can i say this equals to log of x plus x square plus 1 whole power minus 1 because i know that 1 by x always equals to x power minus 1 1 by x square plus 5 you can always write this x square plus 5 whole power minus 1 so same way i am writing can i say this equals to minus 1 will come outside this is minus of log x plus x square plus 1 and that was equals to fx so this is f of minus x is equals to minus of fx this is a odd function very difficult question but still uh, you must know this kind of must able to solve these kind of questions so that was all about functions lesson 5 inverse composite even and odd functions thank you